Hello my dear beauties! Today I have prepared for you a highly requested video on several hairstyles trending on Instagram. I'm also going to show you how to braid your hair if you're using hair extensions for that extra length and volume. And if you don't follow me yet on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I'm going to put all of the links in the description box. This way we can stay connected because even when I don't have a chance to post new videos here on YouTube, I stay very active on social media. I'm sharing with you photos from my trips, my fashion, beauty, hair favorites almost every day. And currently my feed has turned almost completely pink with photos of cherry blossoms that I've taken in Japan and in Paris. So feel free to add me. to start from separating my hair in two equal parts using a red tail comb. For the time being I'm going to secure the left part of my hair into a small ponytail. Once it's done, I'm going to create the second part parallel to the first one, right where I want to place my braid. This is quite a strategic step that will determine the position of our braid. So take a moment to analyze your head and actually decide where you want your braid to be. The color of the extensions that I'll be using should match the color of my ends. So I grab a 3-clip weft of my Glam Temp Clipping hair extensions and attach it right under my parting. Right under this weft and slightly overlapping it, I'm going to attach another 2-clip weft. Don't worry if the extensions will be showing through your own hair at this point, as later on they'll be covered by the braid. Now I have all the length and volume that I need to create an impressive Dutch braid. For those of you who are not using the extensions, the braiding process is pretty straightforward. You want to pick three tiny strands of hair next to the parting and start bringing the outer strands under the middle one. After two braiding steps you start adding extra hair from the sides. So you bring the right strand in the middle and you add some extra hair from the right to the middle strand. You bring the left strand in the middle and you add some extra hair from the left to the middle strand. You cross and you add some extra hair. You cross and you add some extra hair. Now if you are using the extensions like myself, you always want to remember to direct your braid over the place where the extensions are attached. Here I notice that I actually prefer to add the hair from the extensions only to the bottom strand. This is something that actually comes naturally, as they're directed downward. Once my braid reaches the back of my head, I have to swap my hands. If you're new to braiding and don't like to swap your hands in the process, you could actually start braiding from this position. As you can tell, now I'm adding the hair from the right using my right hand and the hair from the left using my left hand, while in the beginning I was doing it with the opposite hands. That's what the entire braiding process looks like from the back, and as you can tell, I'm always directing the braid over the extensions. If you'd like your braids to go closer to your face, you would actually need to attach the extensions also closer to your face. Once I incorporate all the loose hair into my braid, I'm going to secure it with a hair tie. If you wish, you could keep on braiding normally until the ends, or merge several types of braids together. For example, use the ends to create a fishtail braid, now I'm going to take a moment to stretch my braid and make it appear even more voluminous. I tug on each segment of my braid till I get the desired volume. Tugging on your braid should help you hide the extensions even better. Finally, I can hide my hair tie with a small strand of hair from the ponytail. I simply wrap it around it multiple times. And once it's done, I secure the end together with the ponytail using a small clear elastic band. In this case, this technique is simply more secure than bobby pins. Once I repeat the same process on the other side of my head, I get my first super trendy hairstyle – double braided ponytails, or pigtails. You know, somehow I can never get used to this name. It's one of those foreign words, saying which makes me feel uncomfortable. Did you also feel that way about certain foreign words? We could play with our ponytails in many different ways, putting them in all sorts of braids. Well, today I decided to go for the hair bubbles, which are really trending on Instagram. All you have to do is tie your hair with small elastic bands and stretch each bubble a little bit to give it some volume. Repeat the same steps on both sides and your hairstyle is complete. Here you can see it from all the angles. It's really photogenic and picture perfect. 
Plus, it's very resistant and it's going to survive even severe weather conditions. And if you need a quick day to night transformation, here is a quick trick for you. Just grab your bubble braids and tie them into a knot. You actually want to create multiple knots, as many as necessary to incorporate all the length of your hair. Secure the bun with a couple of bobby pins and you're ready to go. Of course, you could use the same technique even without braids, just to create a quick elegant low bun that can be done even by the very beginners. You could also simplify your life by replacing the Dutch braids by regular twists. Thanks for watching and see you soon! Bye!